Welcome Aquarius, it's April 2020 and uh, I'm Didici from astrology.com.au. Take a look at the hammering Aquarius is receiving here with Jupiter and Pluto on one side, Mars and Saturn on the other. Let's animate this so we can see what's going on. Um, a lot of pressure on you right now. And we see that also with the harrowing conjunction of the moon and the ascending node or the karma point in your sixth house. That's been there for about 18 months now. So this is just going to highlight the fact that you need absolutely, <coughs> pardon me, so much more organization in terms of the way you're dealing with your work, adjusting yourself as most of us are right now. Confusion over finances is shown by this um, applying conjunction of Mercury to Neptune there around April 4. That passes fairly quickly. So around the 5th or 6th, you'll see a, an easing up of this as we're seeing with the separating conjunction of Mars to Saturn, your co-ruler. This is important and really probably the most significant things uh, in 29 or 30 years is this movement of your co-ruler into the sign of Aquarius. See here at zero degrees. So a brand new start of a two and a half year cycle. You're probably not thinking it's uh, too much of a good start with what's going on. But um, there's often a good reason and a seed of goodness in a lot of the bad stuff that that happens the full moon there as you can see on the eighth happens in the ninth house of your horoscope which is the higher mind it's very easy to get caught up in the mass mentality to get carried away this is where this eighth ninth tenth uh, interval of the month is important for you to just maybe try to deepen your understanding and remain independent uh, of opinion, news. We don't know what's false. We don't know what's news and truth or true news. So you need to rely on yourself and your intuition, which as you can see, when there's a sextile forming here, there's some square aspects here, but the sextile aspects when the moon moves into Capricorn will be excellent to help trigger that intuitive response. Friendships between the 11th and 13th are highlighted as well. And then a little bit of worry. And if uh, being in lockdown isn't enough, on the 14th when the moon makes contact with the descending node in your 12th house, it then makes a very quick conjunction to Pluto and Jupiter. So there's a lot of power issues here, but these are power issues that relate to your own self-empowerment. As I said, one of the keys for you this month is not getting dragged down by the general consensus. There's another important midpoint connection between Mars and Saturn. A lot of frustration through this period of the month, mid-month, 14th, 15th, 16th. There it moves away from Mars. And Mars for you is, although it's your career planet, it's, it's, it's an unfriendly planet to your ascendant. And having it transit your sun sign, you have to be careful, particularly with the uh, added association of Saturn here, physical injury, health issues. You must stay in lockdown and distance yourself. Around the 19th and 20th, be careful what you eat. This conjunction with Neptune in the second house has to do with food, also money, but anything associated with the mouth. So that could be with what you say. There can be some confusion in how you present some ideas and then that's going to play out in the next couple of days here when the moon makes a conjunction under these square aspects to the node or the past things that have maybe happened in the past that you thought were all hunky-dory uh, come back to cause some problems you see the power plays here these square aspects from jupiter and pluto that is a very strong flavor of political manipulation and by political I mean you can have political issues going on within your family too as we see here on the 23rd when the new moon takes place here in the domestic fourth house of your horoscope also touching erratic and uh, sudden slash abrupt Uranus so be very very careful what you say think carefully about what comes out of your mouth because that's going to have a, a bigger impact than usual on your personal relationships and home affairs this month. Of course, you're spending a lot more time in closer quarters. This Venus transit in your fifth house is quite lovely. It is your best planet 
It uh, has the association of the moon at this time. So that may also have something to do with health issues with children and uh, serving your children, spending more time with your children and uh, finding a common meeting ground. The month finishes off with the same aspect that it started with this moon node conjunction in your sixth house. This is a service orientated area and talks of finding ways to enhance what you do to improve what you do to not only offer people a better service or product but to give yourself a greater sense of self-satisfaction when you're truly serving other people then you feel that release that freedom you're not so concerned about the spatial coordinates of where you live how little space you have um, and, and and you're freer in that creative self giving to other people that's an important key for you this month my new site is up astrology.com.au we've revamped it we've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars over the last few years this is the version i'm very happy with much faster to load a lot more really interesting information we've got a weekly horoscope for you if you'd like to check it out we also have a new really detailed free natal interpretation report which includes your ascendant print functionality please come and join me there subscribe drop me a note i love hearing from you if you want a personal reading i'm here for that we've got all the time in the world now that we're in lockdown i look forward to seeing you next month please keep safe distance see you soon bye bye